guys, Matty Extreme Auto Caravan and Camping with you today on this beautiful winter's day in the Adelaide Hills, Mount Pleasant we're at. Now these guys have come from Melbourne to get a full lithium off-grid package. So in this one, 480 amp hours of lithium, 990 watts of solar on the roof. That's monstrous. Done something a little bit different on this one. Um, we've gone for two strings, that's two solar controllers. Three panels are on one string and the other three are on the other. So that's two MPP trackers taking care of the solar yield on the roof. The advantage being is you will get more power yield over the day if you shade all those three panels. Um, you know, the other three are still gonna kick around. When you tie them all in as one, it'll still work. It's just, you can yield more power this way. The drawback is there's a lot of wiring involved and you've got to rewire the factory original system, which was all parallel up on the Red Arc Manager on this one. So we've rewired the factory system. So. This has got the manager 30 in it, which we've kept for the DC charging and the mains charger, but we've put in a full, full off-grid package. So this has got, this has got a 2,000 watt projector inverter in it that was already done. We've just kind of rerouted it and rewired it and made it a bit better. The Harrier that was fitted factory is now running from the inverter, so that's running from the batteries. So that's the air conditioner running from the batteries. Um, we've put the Victron Smart um, B of V in it to monitor all the batteries. Yes, I know the Red Arc's got the monitoring capability on it. However, um, you know, oh mate, wanted a bit of Bluetooth and a bit more monitoring and a bit more programmability, which is why we've done that. So two Victron smart controllers here, two 50 amp Victron smart controllers, two strings, 60 volts per string. Uh, high voltage, good charge in the morning, good charge in low light, good charge in the evening, um, which is why we string them up like that. So two trackers there. Done a little bit of rewiring for our mate in here because it was a little bit handy duty with some of the crimping of the terminals. Um, gone over it and done that all better so it's um, a bit safer and a bit more reliable for him. So 480, now what else did we do Riley? Cell fire, satellites, we've got the cell fire system on this with the external antenna, got the Sat King Pro Max on the roof, got the vast box installed, I'll show you photos in a minute. Um, that's all up and running now, done a little bit of trickery up in the cupboard to tidy up some of his existing ugliness of wiring and that's all ready to go. Three Sirocco fans in the kids' bunk area, so that's one per bunk, tucked up nice and neatly right up in the corner. Same deal, have a look at the photos for that. Uh, yeah, fully off grid. We've been running the air conditioner on hot like 30 for oh, two and a bit hours now, I reckon. Yeah, and we've only pulled you know 50 or 60 amp hours from it, so it's you're not getting much solar today. But point is, this thing will pull, it's sitting on 650 watts continuous per hour, so in amp hours at 12 volt is between 50 and 70 thereabouts. That's the Dometic Harrier, 50 to 70 because it is an inverter style air conditioner. So I will ramp up and ramp down. It's very efficient and it's really good on the batteries. There's no, no clunk like the old roof clunkers, so we call them. So yeah, pretty tidy setup on this one. It's completely off grid. Unplug it, drive it wherever you want to go, pull over, make a coffee, mains power, run the hair dryer, Run the air fryer, run the induction cookers. This is um, this is free camping how it should be. Microwave will run everything off grid. Outside, external outlet, if you want to run a, a bigger TV so you don't have to have 12 volt TVs, you're not limited when you do it like this. So big setup here and really big charge rates. So 990 watts of solar is gonna pump in a lot of amps and it will replenish his usage quite quickly, um, even in overcast days. So yeah, all good. Dometic Harrier completely off the grid from 480 amp hours of lithium here and I've just set it up so we've got 990 watts of solar on the roof of this puppy this JB Scorpion here so I just want to show you what she's pulling so we've got it is like really overcast and crappy it is there's no sun now we're running at the moment take note of what that says guys all right this is why lithium is king 
8.3 hours at the current usage. 97% state of charge. We've used 14.1 amp hours. I've been running the air conditioner for about 20 minutes now. That's what she's pulling. It has cycled, it is, it's running. I, she's warm air, so we've got that cranked to about 30, I think. Yeah, 30, so she's pretty cold up here in the Adelaide Hills at the moment, and nice warm air coming out of it. Compressor's running. I just wanna show you what it draws with bugger all solar coming in. So, um, there we go. 47 amps. Now look at the voltage, this is why lithium is king. It holds that voltage so true with a with a good load on the battery. Now that'll still hold probably high 12s when you pump the microwave on as well. So there we go, that's the state of charge. We're coming down, so we've used 14, nearly 15 amp hours in 20, 20 minutes, I reckon. So you can do the math what she's gonna draw per hour. That's the Harrier, there we go.